what I'm holding here is a Power Beyond block and a dime disc, both items that we include in our complete joystick kits that are going on older John Deere 6000 series tractors. Now what can happen is after installing these items, load sense activation issues can come up. And usually what happens with that is the front end loader, which is typically what's being controlled with the joystick kit that's being installed, doesn't raise or the loader raises fine but the power steering goes out or maybe the three-point hitch doesn't work correctly and so typically what's going on is a load sense activation problem what's supposed to happen is when you move your joystick a small amount that sends a signal to the pump the hydraulic pump and the pump kicks into full gear and then you have enough oil flow for operating your front end loader or whatever is being operated with the hydraulics. When you have a load sense activation problem, what's happening is that signal is not getting through and the pump is not kicking into full gear and that's where you have things just not working or they're just very weak. So what this video is going to cover is the steps for troubleshooting when you've been working with the hydraulics on an older 6000 series John Deere tractor and the hydraulics just aren't working correctly. So the first thing you want to do is you want to activate the load sense and then try whatever it was that was causing the problem. So for example, if you had a loader that was raising very slowly and wouldn't lift a heavy load, dead had the remotes, that's forcing the load sense to kick in and then try raising that loader again and then see once if um, it'll raise a heavy load and if it does you've confirmed that load sense activation is the root problem um, the same would go for if your power steering went out deadhead the remotes activate your power steering and just make sure that it's working correctly with uh, rear remotes deadheaded and if it is then you know again that it's the load sense activation that's the problem so over the years, we've come up with a list of things to double check, and about 95% of the time, this will fix the problem. Surprisingly, the problem often resides in this teeny tiny little thing that we call the dime disc. There's also several of these already in the SCVs on the tractor, and those can cause problems. The first thing to double check is make sure that this is actually installed. Um, sometimes this gets missed completely during the installation, um, other times it has fallen out inadvertently when you're adding the, the Power Beyond block. Um, so just make sure that this is in there. It's fairly uncommon for that to happen, but it does happen. Um, one thing to be aware of is if this is missing completely, then um, the load sense just isn't working at all. It's not like you're going to be getting like the loader lifting, but it's lifting slowly. It's just not going to lift at all. The power steering won't work at all. So it's just completely defunct if this is completely missing. But that's a good thing to start with. Um, another thing to start to double check, and this you just have to remember back during your install, is did you put the dime disc into the SCV first? So the dime disc does need to go into the slot on the SCV, um, and then you add this. That's very important. That can lead to all kinds of load sense activation problems if this is put in this slot first. Another thing that can happen is the dime disc can have a small scratch in it. Um, that's unusual, um, but it does happen. And so if you've tried everything else and nothing's working, it doesn't hurt to get a new dime disc from John Deere. It's a really common item. It's really inexpensive. You can just get it from your local John Deere dealer. Um, they use this item in a lot of their equipment. Another thing to double check is there is a dime disc already installed in between each of the SCVs on the rear of the tractor. And so when you're installing the Power Beyond block, you're loosening everything up. And sometimes these actually can fall out or um, get misaligned. So double checking these in the SCVs and just making sure that they're present and installed correctly um, can fix the problem. And then the final thing that we have guys run into once in a while is the, a problem with the studs that are being installed. When you add the Power Beyond block, your 
using longer studs, which go through these holes here. And then those studs sometimes aren't tightened enough or um, we had it once where the threads were actually bad on one of the studs. Um, and then in one situation we had a guy that he needed the longer studs, but they had like a long lead timer. I don't remember what the situation was, but for some reason he had uh, welded several of the stub studs just to make them longer. Um, and then the welds broke on like one of them. And so what was happening was the SCVs actually weren't um, held together tightly enough. And so there was an internal leak. Um, and so then once he replaced the studs on that, um, everything worked fine. So that's something over the years that I've only run, run into like once or twice, but it is something to double check. Just make sure that you have good studs and that they are tightened correctly. There's a few other odds and ends that can be going on, but the list that um, I just covered in this video is going to cover probably 95% of the load sense activation problems that might be going on um, with your John Deere 6000 series tractor.